Hey you guys, welcome back. So after my last video on the Nvidia Shield where I demonstrated how you could easily stream games from your computer and play them on the big screen. Now lots of you are interested in that but unfortunately you're saying the Shield is just out of your price range and you're wondering is there anything we can do for the 4K Fire Stick? Now as you guys know the 4K Fire Stick is nowhere near as powerful as the Nvidia Shield. It has less RAM, obviously the CPU is a lot less. It's obviously just a much weaker device. Um, so I've been looking online and trying to find some options on things that we could do on the 4K Fire Stick to allow us to game stream anything from our computer directly onto our Fire Stick. Well, would you believe it guys? What you're looking at on the screen right now is me playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare but actually through my Fire Stick. And how do we know that? Well, if I get my Fire Stick remote control, press the home key, and that was actually on my 4K Fire Stick. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also set up game streaming on your 4K Fire Stick, which will allow you to play all your favorite games on the big screen. So with all of that being said, let's get started. <laughs> If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now for this process to work, we need to install one thing onto our Fire Stick and that application is called Moonlight. And the great thing is that application is actually available directly on the Amazon App Store. So you don't need to sideload it or use any third party tools. I'll show you how you can install that in just a second as soon as I get my next skill because I have to tell you, I really am enjoying playing this game. I mean, oh great. I mean, it's one thing playing in front of a computer, but just playing it on the big screen or sitting on the sofa is just so much more enjoyable. Okay, let's back out of this. Okay, so let's break this process down into just three easy steps. Step number one, we're going to install an application onto our Fire Stick. An application is called Moonlight. Step number two, we're gonna jump over to my PC and I'm going to show you how you can configure your GeForce experience to allow you to do the actual game streaming. And then lastly, we'll pair our Xbox controller or any Bluetooth controller onto our Fire Stick. So when we actually start game streaming, anything I do on the Xbox controller that will be sent from the controller through the Moonlight application and onto my PC and then to the game. And I really am impressed at how well it works. So let's do the first step. So let's search for Moonlight. There it is, let's click on that. And this is a completely free application. Let's click on that to download. And just while waiting for this guys, so I have been testing on fixing the launcher issue or updating the launcher issue on the second generation Fi TV Cube. I have got a fix and I'm hoping to release that video tomorrow. So if you guys are interested in that, please do like this video. Okay, before I open this up, let me jump over to my PC and I'll show you how you can enable the game streaming feature on your graphics card. So to add in a custom game into your game stream, open up your GeForce experience and go over to Shield and then enable this option here, which then actually activates game stream on your device. And you can then click on add and this will then open up File Explorer and you can basically navigate to wherever you installed Call of Duty Modern Warfare. On my machine, I've installed it in Games, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I just select the launcher here, select on that, click on Open, and this will then add that to your game stream library. So the next time you are on your Shield, you can open up the game stream app and you'll see this game in there. And as mentioned, this game is not currently optimized for game stream. And once they do go ahead and do that, we will see even better performance and overall better gameplay. So definitely looking forward to that. Okay, so now that we've enabled that feature, let's click on open. And this should now automatically scan your home network. And as long as your Fire Stick and your PC are on the same network, it should be able to find that. And we can see it's done exactly that. Now, if for whatever reason it cannot find it, you do have the option to go to plus and you can now enter in the IP address of your PC. But in most cases, in all of my testing, this does always seem to find it automatically. Now, before we open that up, let's go over to the settings. And there are a couple of things we can do in here just to give us the best possible performance. Now, the first option we have in here is the video resolution. Let's click on that. 
Now by default, this is set to 720p. Now depending on how fast your home network is, whether your Fire Stick is on Ethernet, on Wi-Fi, whether your Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz, all of that will affect your speed. Now in my example, my Fire Stick is running on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and my desktop is on gigabit Ethernet. So I'm gonna set mine to 1080p, but if on your device this gives you choppy playback or stuttering, you can reduce it down to 720p and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, let's leave that as 1080p. Let's look at the frame rate. So by default, it is set to 60 frames per second. But again, if for whatever reason you have problems with that, you can reduce that down to 30. But I'm gonna leave mine at 60 frames per second. Let's open up the video bitrate. Now, as we know from our streaming guys, the higher the bitrate, the better the quality, but that does consume more bandwidth. So in my example, I'm going to leave it at about 20 meg and see how that performs. Let's click on okay. The next option will allow you to unlock the frame rates for 90 frames or even higher, but really, doing this on the 4K Fire Stick, it's not really suitable. However, you can get the Moonlight application for your PC and for your other devices. So if you do have a more powerful device, you can enable this option and unlock a higher frame rate. But let's leave that as is for now. Let's scroll down. And the last thing I'd like to enable is the very bottom option, which is enable the performance overlay. That will show you your frames per second, your resolution, and how the streaming and decoding is actually performing. So that's a great way to see exactly the settings that you've applied, what kind of impact they're having on your device. So let's turn that on. Let's back out of this. And that's it guys, we're now pretty much ready to go. So let's click on this now. And the very first time you do this, this will actually send a pairing request to your computer asking you to establish that partnership. So I need to enter in the code 8739 on my PC. Let me do that now. And there it is, we've now made a connection and I can see all of the games I'm currently configured on game streaming to play from another device. Now this thing I'm actually testing at the moment and although I can get it to launch, it doesn't seem to be accepting the controller input, but if that does work, I'll be able to then play my GameCube games through my Fire Stick. But for now, let's open up uh, the launcher, which is this one here. Let's click on that. This should now make a connection. I can now click on play from my PC and we can see that then instantly launches the game. Now, just while the game is loading, we can see here some of the performance. So we can see right now we are getting around about 60 frames per second and what kind of time it's taking to decode that stream. So, so far it's performing okay. Uh, I didn't actually pair my Xbox controller. So let me quickly do that now. Let me press the home key here. Let's go over to settings, go down, go to remotes and Bluetooth devices. Go to game controllers. Let's click on add a new game controller. On the Xbox, let's press this button here and we get the fast flashing light. There we get the controller there. I click on that. Give that a second and that's now paired. So I can actually now navigate around my Fire Stick using the Xbox One controller. All right, let's go back to the game streaming application. We can see we can now resume that session. Click on resume. And there is, we're now inside Call of Duty. So let's go for multiplayer and let's click on, let's click on join. Now, to be fair, I never actually play first person shooters or FPS games using a controller because I always just find it a little bit clunky compared to a keyboard or mouse. However, just to show you that's working, we can play one game like that. But really I could get an OTG cable and plug my keyboard and mouse directly into my Fire Stick. Then those input commands, those mouse movements will be sent through the Fire Stick through the Moonlight application onto my PC. And the third option we could do if you wanna take it to the next level, because my keyboard and mouse are actually uh, fully wireless, I could just bring them onto here and just start playing this game. So those movements, those key presses will actually go to my PC. We'll just see what's happening on my PC on the screen over here. So it is a little bit confusing, but it works absolutely fine. I really can't play on the gamepad, but just to show you like what the impact lag is like, because you have to appreciate these controls are going through the Fire Stick, through the application, and then onto my PC. But we can see guys, um, that's, pretty, uh, that's pretty smooth. Uh, oh nice, good start there. <laughs> yeah, my reaction times are a bit slow, shall we say, uh, especially on the joypad. But performance wise guys, I mean, we're pretty much locked at 60, not really getting any uh, dropped frames. And in terms of performance, um, in theory, I could actually push up some of that bitrate and even maybe that resolution because currently I'm playing at 1080p, but I could maybe try at 1440p and see how that handles it. All right, I didn't want to do this, but let's see what happens with a, a keyboard and mouse. 
All right, let's see. Uh, take that. Uh, that's one down. But definitely, guys, if you're looking for an easy way to play your PC games on the big screen and use your 4K Fire Stick as a game streaming device, then I highly recommend checking out Moonlight. I mean, it's absolutely free. As we can see, it works really well. And there's also clients for other devices. So you can also do this on your NVIDIA Shield. You can also do this on another PC or your Macintosh. Pretty much every device is uh, covered, allowing you to enjoy all of this game streaming from pretty much wherever you are. So I'm definitely uh, happy with that. Unlike that guy killing me. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find it useful, then do give it a thumbs up. As mentioned before, I'm working on the fix for the second generation Fi TV Cube, so we can customize that launcher without typing in any commands. So if you guys want to check that out, definitely do give it a thumbs up. And also think about subscribing if you want to see more videos like that. So that's pretty much from me, guys. I uh, hope everybody is safe, everybody is well. Uh, do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about game streaming and also my performance. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.